Okay, hello everybody. Um, at the moment it's uh, 2 in the morning in Italia. Uh, right now I will continue what I did a, little, a few hours ago, talk about um, the errors that I've finished so far, but um, first let's finish and let's uh, do some things that we need to do. So, okay, we have some incidents here, no no coins, two nanos. Could have these here. Okay. Oh. So today's quest involves having to solve the first difficulty of guild expeditions. Okay, 150 pots of gold, 100 pots of gold. Thank you very much. Grazie mille. Here, another incident there. Okay, let's uh, get back to what we went to do today. So, where were we? So, okay. <coughs> today we talk about um, further into the ages. So, one, let's hope to start with the hot middle ages. Um, this, this song I think is a very interesting, interesting, uh, guild to, no, age to fought in due to this, the trebuchet, uh, this is because of its range. And um, so far, among all the uh, ages so far, this is impressive. 14, 14 range. Let's compare this with uh, the. This is it's the Trebuchet has more range on the ballista the, of the Iron Eye. Definitely far more, definitely more than the stone thrower, and uh, more than the catapult. So, from my experience fighting in this game, the more range, the better. Uh, this the early mid, the high middle age. Oh, middle age, sorry. Uh, it's well known for its site marks specifica. Produces goods and boosts your product coin production. And the reason uh and while I never had this building before, the reason I write it Harley is because uh, you're going to need coins as you advance through the ages. Uh, and us and also there are lots of events that uh, cause you to achieve to uh, collect n number of coins so this is very much useful and yeah the goods production also it's Got it. It's very nice as well. Um, 
I also write this Harley to do the farm. You can type this to the light middle ages, which is the next era. Also, this one you can take this also to the next age. I write it Harley also because it does not require a significant footprint. This one here also you can take it to the light middle ages because the light with because uh, the key population structure in the light middle age is in the back end and um, of the light middle age. Uh, this one I have three of these. How many do I have? I believe I got okay one, two, three. Yeah, three of these. Let's, let's take this car here. Okay. Um, uh, the reason I still have roperies is because uh, one hard middle age goods are also in high demand in guilds, but in guild treasuries. Particularly those in Diamond in Diamond League and up, and um, the ropery also does not uh, take up a lot of space. So uh, that's why I built it. The, the goods uh, have as you know, deposits for the glass blower and the rope. Uh, managed to get the. I also got the clay as my goods as a goods deposit, but uh, I man uh, unlocked it in the tomorrow era map. The good the whole middle age goods deposits helps you produce goods and produce more goods. In the tomorrow era so you know do not neglect it so as for culture cultural buildings we have the church we have the doctor uh, we have some Good one, one by one buildings, flag, lantern, the sun post, etc. So, as for the map, uh, where are we? here you get to uh, I think within this within this area here is the hard middle is the hard middle age map the most common goods deposit is it is is the rope all right hemp so in this area here is I'm a large map. I do not recall these where I fought here. Okay. Now uh, let's get to the next edge. The light middle edge. So um if so the light middle age is uh and I I write it Harley due to this the Castello de Monte uh as I all pointed out yesterday the Castel de Monte provides uh 
attack and defense values boost for your attacking army and um, in Forge of Empires attack is a good thing okay so I also rate it highly due to uh, this the cannon as well as the as uh, the heavy art the heavy knight um No, what? No, what? No, um. In this age, you also get to unlock the Mughal Empire settlement. I do not. I have not tried this yet. But um, I'm told that uh, the rewards are not impressive. So. This will be in the back burner. Now, as for departing up, the, the units are unlocked. You get this the Great Sword Warrior. This is the fast unit. I don't know, the lock, the lock, the lock unit, sorry. The lock unit. Um, 25 attack, 25 defense. It's a big change from. It's a slight change from the Home Middle Age. This one here, it's got more. It's got it's got more attack and defense. It's in, it's the range unit and the light middle age, the heavy knot. I'll write it highly because it's beefier. It's beefier for uh, for a fast unit, and uh, I write it highly also because of its movement. Twenty four movement per turn. Which is really good when you know you're trying to conduct harassment operations and against your opponent on the map or on the map rather. This one here, the heavy, the, is the heavy unit. This is also beefy, but um, you get it like lighter or the back end of your like middle age journey so this one here um we unlock this in the back end so i rarely i rarely build this okay so um, as for goods, as for production buildings, there's the cooperage, as well as the brewery. Um, the brewery replies this. The um, it's it's good. It's got it's good. It's reasonable footprint. Three by three. Replies this your uh, whatever three by two production building that you have. You can carry this also to the colonial edge. Um, as for goods, uh, light middle age goods, you can use it to, you know, you can use its deposits to construct future era, to build future era goods, rather. So, what do we have here? We have the gunpowder manufactory. The talc cutter, the brass foundry, and the silk manufactory, and the basalt mason. The deposits I got are the cocoons for silk and for the brass. Uh, I unlocked this, and I locked this on the uh, light middle edge map. Well, the talc powder, I unlocked this in the future era map. So, um, as for cultural buildings, uh, you've got the library, the academy, the cartographer, you get, you can get 
I think there's a quest, there's a quest or two where you gotta build a cartographer, the tower ruin. I think there's a quest or two that you got you gotta build these as well. So yeah. Next is the colonial age. It's uh, a niche age. The, the the build the great buildings are called a quite niche. Uh, the Fraud Kush the of, De of Dresden and the Deal Castle are the great buildings. They're quite niche because um, you can get a secondary effects elsewhere. The Fraud Kush of, De of Dresden produces goods and provides happiness. Now, uh, it's kind of niche because as you excel as you accelerate the ages and you get event buildings, you complete event quest, you complete uh, event quests, you get event buildings and um, how do I say this? You got you also got your own goods production buildings, and you can also try your way uh, to getting those buildings as well especially if you go to higher ranking guild which can help you with that so yeah this is I've, I have never constructed this building 5x5 five five building deal castle this one can occupies a lot of space and uh, you also do not need a lot of you also do not need a lot of metals this 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 big building here produces metals and boosts the attack and defense values of the defending units now I consider this a niche because um, you get to produce, you get medals from incidents across the city, and also it co it could it cost it costs a lot of uh, spice and uh, the victory towers that you have, plus some of the event buildings that you have, they produce. A sustainable amount of uh, metals or product well, while giving you other effects as well. So, if you got the uh, you got the spice and give this a try, but otherwise, I would not recommend. You also get to unlock in this set of, in this uh, era, I rather the Aztec settlement. Now, of completed this I will make a video about this in another day when I finish with when I finish uh, my current settlement uh, the if you're trying to make your attacking army much beefier then this is it you can this is the uh, I this is the settlement for you because uh, the rewards the grand pro the rewards of this uh, the Sun Temple for gives you how do I say this defense val defense values for your attacking army right here are the uh, Military units. One's the Ranger, which is uh, ironically a Miller unit. It's the lot unit of this age. It's uh, fast. The Musketeer. It's the Ranger unit. Uh, I used to build this a lot because um, it's good against heavy units. 
as for this is the fast unit the dragoon it's oh, it's quite beef it's beefy for a fast unit the grenadier it's the heavy unit um it's also beefy and so and it's quite fast the field gun um defensively it's horrible but it comes to range and in this game range is uh it ranges everything so i used to build this a lot as well and uh Yeah, this is very very I mean one one nice one, okay one nice thing about this is that uh, it compensates its uh, lack of defense through its uh, special skill just dug in uh, and dug in um, you get more defense this one gets beefier if it if the potential attacker is more than two spaces away, alright. Uh, so as for as for residential buildings, I built this a lot because uh, this is a two by two building. Uh, this is I think the probably the own. This is probably what the own the. Uh, last two by two building uh resid two by two residential building out there until what future era because they have a two by two red population building um this one here provides to almost 260 almost 260 population as well um, I think you can get this the back end I think if I recall right yeah the back end rather uh, the S I also constructed this a lot, particularly the air, a lot as well. But uh, this is close to the back end. Okay. Now, as for production buildings, you're gonna love it, cause uh, they take less space than relatively less space. The clock might, the clock might, uh, the cell might, the cell might, uh, the tobacco pla plantation, the tobacco plantation replaces the farm from the hard middle, from the hard middle age. If you carry this to industrial age, uh, the cell maker, yeah, how <coughs> to say this? You can all it. It comes in handy with some of the quests, uh, storyline quests, and uh, also some of the recur. I don't know about. I do not know about the recurring quests, but uh, it comes. This one, the sound maker comes handy. Plus, uh, it does not occupy. It does not occupy a lot of building space. So. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty decent. As for goods, you get the paper bill, the coffee roaster, the war mill, and the porcelain manufactory, and the ta kiln. I hope I pronounced it right. The paper mill, uh, I, I, did, I did not really write it that hardly because I did not have Piper as uh, my goods deposit until I reached modern era the nice thing about it, this one here is that 
produces it gives you own it gives you what two bar three does not occupy a lot of space so yeah if you if you unlock if you lock it's good depo good to deposit early then you would lock the coffee roaster it's two bar three the warm mill I unlock this early I unlock this early because uh, I unlock the goods deposit early um, the porcelain manufactory it's a 4 by 4 building also unlock its goods deposit early the tar kiln um, I've just unlocked its goods deposit because uh, you, you get other than in colonial age map uh, you also get to unlock goods deposit uh, in the modern era let me show you the modern era map here here excuse my <coughs> yeah here in this map called Igamoto uh, you get to unlock you get to unlock a goods deposit here I've also unlocked the lock the uh, goods the uh, colonial edge goods deposit called ta pardwood ta for to you know is to make ta here in the Arctic future map uh, so what is what is the usefulness of colonial era well um, when you get to the modern era the goods that you build in the colonial age you get you need you'll need them to construct them to build uh, modern era goods all right so moving on is the industrial age The industrial age you unlock a new world new world in the world map uh, I think I have it here in the industrial age you unlock this one here that looks like the Americas and uh, yeah like I said it looks like the Americas so once you fit once you finish the the colon the colonial age map as well as the bonus provinces you get to have a chance to uh, go to the industrial age map okay but uh what a lock about is about this I now this age is the military units we'll get more into that later now let's discuss about uh, the goods the great buildings both are con and ish the capital uh, provides supplies and produces supply produces supplies and provides population um, this is niche because of its uh, massive footprint as well as the fact that you get to that you get when you get to industrial age you get in when you complete uh event quests and get event buildings the amount that they produce are significant and they do not require the mass a lot of event buildings do not require the massive footprint needed to produce the capital Royal Albert Hall 
it reminds me of the law towers of Alexandria but uh, it's big it's uh, it's bigger because it's got a bit of bigger foot bigger footprint so you know I've never built this as well I've never built this and I consider this a niche as for the fighting unit the fighting units this one is the first to me it's the first stealth unit because uh, it hides in not necessarily stealth but uh, it's got uh, holding capabilities uh, the Jager Jager sorry I don't know how to pronounce that well the Jager infantry uh, it's the light unit uh, it, it hides in the forest it's uh, it's good as a potential sniper unit particularly in particularly in uh, fighting maps with forests on it this one here the rifle map it's the range unit uh, it has good bonus against the heavy unit I've used it I've used this in Guild Battlegrounds in Guild Battlegrounds once upon a time uh, it's in a the Lancer, it's the fast unit, it's a melee unit, I think this is going to be the last melee unit that you'll encounter for a while, until something like the Arctic Future. Uh, and then the last two are basically the reasons why I love this era. The Breach Loader and the Howitzer. Now, both of these are artillery units. Uh, the difference is one has less range than the other, but uh, this one here, the, the nice part about the howitzer is that it has the blast skill. It provides attacking bonus for each field closer to the target, and it ignores stealth. Hence, it can blast the living hell out of uh, the Jager infantry even if its range is far less than the bridge loader the bridge loader has more range and um, while it's got less attack than the howitzer it's good when you're dealing with heavy units as well plus it's uh, beefy in a way that uh, it's got dug in uh, Guys, defense burners if your attack is more than two spices away. So, as for as for the residential buildings, uh, the footprint here, the uh, uh, footprint standard, it goes from two by two houses that we're used to in the early ages up to uh, 2 by 2 it's the boarding house the workers house and the Victorian house as for production buildings yeah the, the footprint as well has increased um, the gunsmith the ceramics factory and the chemical plant the gunsmith is uh, the 2 by 2 version of the alchemist in the high middle age of, of, uh, of so I still have the gunsmith that I could have built in the industrial age I carried it into today because uh, of its uh, low, relatively low foot uh, relatively low footprint the ceramics factory, the chemical plot, uh, well they're big, um, 
if the ceramics factory I built more of, I remember I built more of these more than the chemical plant was uh, produces more supplies as for goods um, you get the rubber plant the cork oven the textile mill the while the wiling station and the fertilizer plant uh, I'll unlock the rubber and vials the litex which is which is really our used to make rubber and whales uh, used to make wild oil uh, I unlocked it in the industrial era map as for the coal as for coal uh, how do I say this I unlocked it I unlocked it later in the contemporary era no not contemporary era well, I think it's postmodern let me check There we go, postmodern era. So the a lot of people I know they camp in industrial age because uh, when you hit progressive era, the next age, uh, it will require it will it's the last uh, the industrial age is the last built age where all your buildings do not require a 2x2 two two road a 2x2 two two road which we will discuss in the progressive era later on uh, well uh, as inferred but as inferred by the saw so as inferred, inferred by the saw so that occupies a lot more space and um, there are some buildings in the progressive era onwards where which you have to build in the two by two road connecting to your town hall so a lot of people in the industrial age they love to camp here to you know prep themselves for the progressive era all right